Hi, it's Anna from My Scrub, and right now I'm at a scrapyard. Today I'm gonna get into copper grade, which is commonly known as a copper tooth. All right. First of all, copper number two consists of berry, which is wires, and candy, which is mostly pipes and tubes. As per is record, berry candy copper should be comprised of bus bars, clippings, commutator segments, and wire free of brittle burnt wire. It should be also unalloyed and uncoated. Here I have berry copper. It is wires and, as I mentioned before, should be free of brittle burnt wire. Wire gauged, moreover, subject to agreement between buyer and seller. Well, the more thicker copper wire, the more valuable and desired it is. However, thin wires are also acceptable but have less value. Here I have some disqualification of copper berry. Let's start from corrosion or discoloration. This is perfect sample of corrosion or discolorated uh, wire. The next one also got this color this kind of copper not acceptable the next one is insulation or attachment this it should be removed so this copper seems good but then here we see attachments that so this copper is not acceptable the next one is burnt copper wire you can see it's burnt it got black this copper is not acceptable for copper number two you also need to be careful as sometimes it is mixed with aluminum wires, which is not acceptable. So this kind of copper are not acceptable as a copper number two and it belongs to other grade. Here I have copper candy, which is copper tubes and pipes. Desirable copper candy should be free of fittings, insulation, paint, solder and other materials and should have 99% of copper content. Well, now I will show you some samples of disqualified candy copper. Let's start from heavy corrosion. Here we have perfect sample of heavy corroded uh, copper tube. You can see it, so this kind of copper is not acceptable. The next one is discoloration. Discoloration or if your copper tube became black, so it's also not acceptable as copper number two. This one also, you can see it became black, so it's not acceptable. The next one is a copper tube with attachment. Here you can also see some attachment, so this copper is not acceptable. This tube is also with attachment. You can see here some plastic, not acceptable. Here also perfect sample, so you can see the tube looks perfectly good, but then from other side, you have some brass material, so this is attachment and should be removed. It's not acceptable. Alright, these kinds of candy are not acceptable. However, small corrosion and trace amounts of oxidation are generally acceptable. I hope you found this video useful and took some notes. In the next video, I'm gonna get into other copper grades. Thank you for watching me. See you next time.